My name's Nathan Davis and I'm the chef here at SY23 Aberystwyth. So the ethos and the sort of style of food uh, that we do here in the restaurant is primarily governed by the fire, so we cook over, over live fire. Um, and we use lots of ingredients from around the area. So that's, that's where we're really inspired by and, and that's sort of our, our rooted sort of belief in, in local food. But then with that, because we cook over the fire, we can take inspiration and cooking techniques from over in Japan or from the Basque country or from France or anywhere really. And, and the fire really links it all together and, and I hope that it creates like a uniform style. So the restaurant is, is really built around cooking over fire and, and for me, you know, the, the first ingredient that before anything gets on the plate is what we're cooking with. So we use local charcoal that's produced a couple of miles away by a friend. Um, and for that we can get like single species charcoal, so really developing different flavours. From that we're getting really great flavours from stuff like the, whether it's heavy smoke from oak, whether it's you know a lighter smoke from like the beach and things like that, or whether you've got really intense hot fire from birch or you know, things. So it really makes a massive difference in, in cooking for us and, and the way that we cook on different fuels. So something we're, we're really passionate about here at the restaurant. I think influences and things like that come from, from where you've worked, where you've been, where you've visited. And I think at the point where you become a head chef, I think your, your, your menu is really your CV. It kind of shows where you've worked, it shows where you've travelled. I spent a long time with, with Gareth at Inesir and obviously that's had a, a knock-on effect to me and my food style in, in just approaching things a bit differently. But then we've got our own style in, in sort of, I love the sort of Basque country cooking, that sort of live fire thing. and a lot of the fish based things that we do, most of our menu is, is fish, so I love that. And then there's also the, the, the Japanese techniques of whether it's the yakitori or sort of slower cooked. As a chef, uh, favourite season for me is probably the spring, where everything sort of comes to life. We're very, very busy with preserving and starting to forage. Um, so it really like kicks off, especially like with birch syrup and things like that. It really kicks off our year and then we know we're getting ready for summer. So, you know, that kind of everything around here evolves around the summer, um, but the spring really gets into, go, into gear. So, yeah, love the ingredients in the summer. So here's a typical dish that we have on the menu uh, at SY23 restaurant. So there's some local lamb that we've cut the rib from that's been brined and then finished over the fire. Uh, smoked in some hay. We've got a little bit of the saddle which has been slow cooked and then finished over the fire again just to render that fat down. So first I'm going to smoke the lamb rib and then that's going to go down on the plate. We've got a little black garlic ketchup. There's the saddle which has been slow cooked and then just rendered down over the fire. And then to finish we've just put the shallot which has been braised in local beer. Uh, lamb fat and then finished in preserved wild garlic with a little garlic oil. So there we have our lamb with black garlic and shallot. So another typical dish that we've got on the menu this time of year at the restaurant is pear. So there's a uh, little pear syrup, some raw pear, and then a little sheet of this cider jelly, uh, nice and thin, just to go over the top of it for some texture. So we'll start with the sour cream, which has been soured for, for 96 hours. You've got some of the syrup from the pears. There's a little bit of the uh, sunflower seed granola, a little quenelle of pear sorbet, some more of those pears that are just raw, There's some wood sorrel from the woodland, and then that little piece of jelly just to cover the top of it. So there we have pear with sour cream and wood sorrel.